Hi, I'm Sabah, a software engineering manager at Google. And today, I'm going to show you how to write a fast test for a simple reverse function, run the Go command, and understand the log. For this demo, I'll be using macOS. Let's start with the prerequisites. You will need Go 118 or later. For installation instructions, see Installing Go linked in the description below. A tool to edit your code. Any text editor you have will work fine. I'll choose VS Code, a command terminal. Go works well using any terminal on Linux and Mac and on PowerShell or command in Windows. An environment that supports fuzzing. Go fuzzing with coverage instrumentation is only available on AMD64 and ARM64 architectures currently. Open a command prompt and change to your home directory. From the command prompt, create a directory for your code called fuzz. Create a module to hold your code. Initialize it by running go mod in it with module path. Check that a mod file is created. Using your text editor, create a file called main.go in the fuzz directory. Create package declaration main and write a simple reverse string function. This function will accept a string and return the reverse string at the end. At the top of main.go, add a main function to initialize a string, reverse it, and print the output, and also add fmt package. Run the main.go from terminal. You can see the original string, the result of reversing it, then the result of reversing it again, which is equivalent to the original. Now that the code is running, it's time to test. Using your text editor, create a file called reverse-test.go in the first directory and write the unit test reverse-test.go. The simple test will assert that the listed input strings will be correctly reversed. Run the unit test using go test. The unit test has limitations that each input must be added to test manually. One benefit of fuzzing is that it comes up with the generated inputs for your code and may identify edge cases that the unit test case was not able to cover. Next, you will convert the unit test into a first test so that you can generate more inputs without any effort. Note that you can keep unit test, benchmarks, and first test in the same test.go file. But for this example, you will convert the unit test to a first test. When unit test, you can't predict the expected output since you don't have control over the inputs. However, there are a few properties of the reverse first function that you can verify in a first test. Reversing a string twice preserves the original value. The reversed string preserves its states as a valid UTF-8. Note the syntax difference between the unit test and the first test. The function begins with fuzz instead of test and takes testing.f instead of testing.t. Where you would expect to see a t.run execution, you see f.fuzz, which takes a fuzz target function whose parameters are testing.t and the types to be fuzzed. The inputs from your unit test are provided as seed corpus inputs using f.add. Ensure the new package Unicode UTF-8 has been imported. Run the first test without fuzzing it to make sure the seed inputs pass. Now, run fuzz reverse with fuzzing to see if any randomly generated string inputs will cause a failure. This is executed using a go test with a new flag fuzz. The input that caused the problem is written to a seed corpus file that will be run the next time a go test is called, even without the fuzz flag. To view the input that caused the failure, open the corpus file written to the test data fuzz, fuzz reverse directory in a text editor. Your seed corpus file may contain a different string, but the format will be same. Look closely at the reverse string to spot the error. In Go, a string is a read-only slice of bytes and can contain bytes that aren't valid UTF-8. The original string is a byte slice with one byte. 
when the input string is set to run, Go encodes the byte slice to UTF-8 and replaces the byte with a UTF-8 character. When we compare the replacement UTF-8 character to the input byte slice, they are clearly not equal. Let's return an error if the input to reverse is in valid UTF-8. Also, modify the main function to discard the extra error value and import errors and UTF-8 packages. Modify the reverse test.go file to check for errors and skip the test if errors are generated by returning. Also, import the errors and the Unicode UTF-8 packages. If we only want to run the failing test, run a specific corpus entry within first test data. You can provide first test name, file name to run. This can be helpful when debugging. The first test will run until it encounters a failing input unless you pass the first time flag. The default is to run forever if no failures occur. And the process can be interrupted with control C or by specifying time limit. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest updates and information on goal.